Hello guys, I don't know if you're interested in coding for kids. Well, if you are, the best software to start with is Scratch! Don't believe him, he ain't saying no truth, guys. And I'll tell the truth, it's code.org. Who are you? Oh, did I tell you who I am? I'm you, future you, and smarter you. Guys, don't believe in them, I'll tell you the truth. Pixel blocks is the answer to your problems. If you have a problem, just go to Pixel blocks. If it's something with coding, of course. Guys, don't believe in him, I'll tell you the truth. It's Coach Kingdom. Coach Kingdom is always the answer to all of your problems. Guys, you're probably confused from the four examples I just gave you. And trust me, there are many, many, many more examples. That's why I just gave four. It'll be too confusing and gave more. That's why four is enough for now. And these four examples that I just gave you are good for some reasons that I'm about to explain. Some of them are good for 3D games. Some of them are good for Arduino. Some of them are totally free. Some of them are for beginners. Some of them are totally not free. Stay tuned. At the end of the video, you won't even feel confused anymore. Guys, we're we'll starting the first thing that's code.org. So you open Google Chrome, you type in code.org, then you press enter, and then it loads, and then what you need to do is go to Express Course, then go to Course Catalog, then pick what grade you are, well, I'm just going to do this, I may not be one of those grades, by the way, but the age I am, Okay, so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna come to Angry Birds. So, no, 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 I didn't answer this. Okay. So this, okay, let's see if it still works. Love the sound effects. I love the sound effects, it's just so nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, maybe I don't all the time love the sound effects. Okay, so everything does perfectly work. So everything does perfectly work, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, and we just got it. Okay, guys, so we just did the sample. Everything works, and I'm just going to be showing you on by Code.org. So Code.org is a very good um, programming area. It's very simple, very good. And as you see, here's everything. So you have to go through all of this to get your reward, as I just did. And this is a very uh, good sequence for your brain, and it's really simple for coding. So you really need to do this, and it's really fun. It's actually really fun. All you do is drag and drop. Can't anything be easier than drag and dropping? No. That's why it's a really simple activity, and I'd really like to show you more about it. But we have to go to the other steps, catching a different sample. Okay guys, you just saw Code.org, Code.org. Very simple, very basic, and very easy. It will take a lot of time, like three weeks or something like that. So um, that's why please put all your effort in it. You guys will understand the concepts of the loops and the if then else's. And that's why it's gonna be very simple, very fun, very easy, and will help you a lot in your life in the future. And that's why I just wanna say that we're gonna go to the next step and have fun. Okay guys, we're moving on to the second platform, Pictoblox, my favorite platform. You guys wanna see some magic? If you do, let's do it. And now, high five for watching the magic. Oh, please, slap to me! Yay, a box! I told you, I told you, I told always works. No way it doesn't. Let's try the close sense to me now. Close sense to me! Hey, it works! Okay, I'm gonna stop pranking with you guys. Give me the iPad, dude. Okay, so this is just a code. <laughs> There's no open sense of me thing in this. It's just a code. I just tried to prank you guys. You're probably way smarter than that. But the light just works, to be honest with you. It's pretty pointless. So, okay, this is the code. O open is to open the door and close is to close it. Not the best password, but we'll work on it. 
Guys, this ain't really magic, it's just a code. As you guys can see, I did that code by Pictoblox. Blocks. And if you guys wanna learn how to do the code, let's watch the video. Come back here, as you guys just saw the house and like all the code, you guys were probably confused. How did this code work? Yeah, you're probably more confused how did the code work. Now, you won't be confused. This is the whole entire code and this is the Bluetooth one. If you guys were kind of confused of how the Bluetooth all works, how do we connect it from the, the Arduino Uno board to the iPad and Dabble. This is the app that I downloaded. It's uh, available on um, Google Play and iOS. So you could you could go download it when you got the code. Okay, you probably memorized it. And don't forget to upload the code. You guys like Arduino just like me. Well, if you do and you guys are getting very annoyed of C and C++ just like me because I barely understand anything from the script and all the writing. That's why Pixelblocks is the best way to go for Arduino. And that's why if you guys want to make the house, you better go to Pixelblocks and do it. By the way, guys, I just left all the links down below for the other videos of Pixelblocks, Color.org, and everything. So get ready to go down there and check. We've it. done code.org. We've done Pixelblocks. And now, the third one. And I'm not going to tell you what it is. You have to figure out. And have you guys ever wondered how 3D games work? Have you? Well, I have always wondered every game I played. Always thought of how it worked and how they made the commands and stuff. Have you guys played Minecraft or Roblox? Well, if you have... Have you wondered how do they make it as the last sentence? Well, you have. Oh, then that's great. I'm about to tell you how they made it. So you learn and I'll be better. Let's get right into it. Guys, as I promised you, we're I'm gonna show you right now code kingdoms. Let's get right into it. So what you need to do is go to search and you need to write code space kingdom. Yeah, and then it will come up. What you need to do is come over here, as you can see. Yeah, Code Kingdom. And now all you need to do is go to Start Coding, then Roblox, and then, well, we, oh, let's watch the trailer. Okay. Need to load, please. Want to make Roblox games? Yeah. But not sure where to start? Yeah. Roblox games are made in Roblox Studio using Lua. Okay. A programming language used by pro game designers. I'm a pro. Learning how to code in Lua can be very tricky to master. Why? But it's almost impossible to make Roblox games without some programming knowledge. Why? Unfortunately, all of the tutorials online are either too hard, too confusing, or just downright boring. Okay. That's Good where Food Kingdoms comes in. Learn how to code your own Roblox games in our child-friendly coding platform for Lua. Hours oh. of educational video content will take you from zero to Roblox hero in no time. Rhyme. Code with drag and drop blocks in a custom-built, beginner-friendly code editor. Follow our step-by-step -step instructions on how to code your own versions of your favorite Roblox games from scratch. Okay. Okay. Start out your coding adventure without having to worry about complicated text code. Simply focus on learning the key Lua programming concepts you need to create your own Roblox games. Was well, that a mood ball? Up, swap over to Epic mode to start coding like the pros. Code Kingdoms is also entirely browser based, meaning there's nothing to install. Just really? Just your Roblox account with Code Kingdoms and you're ready to go. Take Roblox to the next Zombies. level with Code Kingdoms. Okay, I think the trailer's done. Okay, now, now let's continue. Okay, guys, now we just watch the trailer and let's go start coding. What you need to do is go down here and then you find this little button, this yellow, it starts start coding. Well, Roblox is the only one I right now have, so yeah. Guys, the problem is that we actually, this is not free. You have to pay bills and my subscription has um, definitely gone expired. So, but luckily, luckily we have an old video that I'll put and you guys can see it for yourself. And all you need to do is download Roblox Studio from Roblox as you heard from this lady. And then you can immediately just connect to it in a blink of an eye like this. Oh, you're connected. You need to have Roblox Studio if you want to download a Roblox game. Edit your Roblox game from the base plate, of course. Then, all you want to do is go to File. 
go to here so you go there it's it says this wait um let's just restart uh, i made so much domino 45 so i'm just gonna call it domino 45 the description is gonna probably be nothing so it's generous all you have to make a public if you want you to play it and for others to play go to create place that's all you guys to do so it uploads go to next and all you have to do click on this Wait. click on this go to done and you have officially made your own game go check it out that's all I want you guys to do so go back okay Sorry guys, I'm having a bit of trouble. Yeah. As usual it loads. Okay. So here I created my own game. And then go check it out and buy your friends. You guys could make your own game, as I said before in the beginning of the video, and it's gonna be its link. I'm gonna even put the link down below. If you guys play Roblox, I want you guys to join my game. Yep, check it out. It's way better than the picture. Oh, so here's your dynamite slinger. Third dynamite. Okay, I better go back. Uh, good thing I don't lose a hand. Parkour. Wait. I'm a developer of this game, as you guys can see the badge over there. Developer. And uh, you guys must be like, you know the game very well. You could easily pass it. Don't worry, guys. I forget. Okay, guys, it may have not been that clear, but you can seriously make your own 3D game. Like, I don't know, a game from Roblox and a server from Minecraft. If you guys love Minecraft, get your diamonds and your gear and your swords and bows and go destroy creepers. Well, this isn't completely the point. My point is that you can make your own 3D game. That's my point. So just go do it, like just do it, like so simple, okay? Just do it. Just do it. I have something else to say before we hop into another dimension or whatever, and that is that you think it's so simple for kids? Well, it may be a bit harder than code.org and scratch and you know the other stuff that's why you need to have 25 years of experience just like me okay like you just need to like it's just important you need to know how to like work with code kingdom for 25 years like me like i was born already yeah i was born i knew code kingdom i was like already coding with my tiny <laughs> hands and fingers okay and let's hop back to that dimension Wow! Wow! Okay, guys, we've done code.org, we've done picto blocks, we've done code kingdoms, scratch! And let's get right into it. Well, you can do with scratch a lot of things. I'm right now studying scratch as cool. So, scratch, you can make your own 2D game, you can create your own store, you can do whatever you want, you can create something out of the box. That's what you could create. And that's why what I'm going to be telling you is that Scratch is one of my favorite ones to do, boys. And that is why you should be enjoying Scratch as well. And you should probably go do it. Let's get right into the computer. Boom. <laughs> okay, guys. So we're about to do Scratch. And I'm going to show you it right now. So what we need to go do is go search. Dun, 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 dun. Go search. Dun, 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 dun. And when it loads up, press create. Singing these days, boys. And you can do a lot of things with Scratch. So here's the motion. You make things move and talk and stuff. Here's the looks. It talks and changes the size and backgrounds and costumes and all that stuff. Sounds. It already answers your question. <laughs> Events, so events is when the beginning of anything starts. Control is where all the controls actually live. 
Sensing is when it senses something touching mouse pointer. So if I do touching mouse pointer with something else and I start moving, the sprites will keep coming beside me. Operators, so you gotta pick a random number and you could join apple to bananas somehow. And you could see what you want and what you don't want. Variables, so you can make something like make a block over here and make a variable. So we could do speed or race and it will be something right here. And then we go to my box and we don't really have any of those. And that's it. Let's just try a small test that. So I have just a small test right now. Yeah, boy, a small test. I know my blocks very well. Nice. And if we play, then. And there's guys just saw, we just made a little code, a little code, and we could do like a lot of stuff. Like this is this big of an amount of what we could possibly do right now. And um, I wish you the best and uh, you can go to tutorials and uh, you can do all this. Like all, if you go, there's enemy in an adventure game. No one told me that. Oh my god, I need to do that one day. There's animation, there's some art. If you don't know where you started, and if you want to make a story, you just need to go to tutorials and it will show you everything. So you can go to animation if you want to make an animation, art, music, games, and stories. That's all you can do with tutorial. Very helpful, very handy, and um, adios amigos, see you. Okay guys, this, this was just an overview of Scratch, and we could do many, many, many more with it, and that's why we may to do more in the future. I love Scratch because I study Scratch in school, and personally, I'm the professional, just cleaning house right now, cleaning house, boys. Scratch is very simple, and I hope you could do a lot with it, and uh, adios amigos. Okay, you guys just saw an overview of all of them, and now we're coming to the conclusion. And code.org for beginners, very simple, especially for kids. Just dragging, then dropping them. As that simple. As you guys can see, it will take you sequence by sequence, level by level. It will get harder each time, but at the same time, you guys are smart and insane, and you can easily do this just like that and no need to do anything not a rush just follow the steps and it's easy for beginners now scratch same exact thing dragging then dropping them then making your sprites move step by step or do whatever you want maybe you can make a game as long as you follow the tutorials and go step by step but so the, the difference between coded org and scratch is that that in coded org there are levels there's a sequence but in scratch there are none of that you can you freely go think out of the box make a game make your sprite to do whatever you want just all you thinking and that's why code.org is probably super good for beginners and scratch is probably like mid like you you see this here's code.org and here's scratch beginner midfield okay that's what i see and pixel blocks pixel blocks you can even drag and drop the same exact thing but this time it's for arduino in a pixel block you can control arduino can control the monster control every arduino element just by dragging and dropping from pixel blocks and now we go to the final one and we're going to code kingdom and it's a little bit harder than code.org and scratch but you could get it if you follow the video and um, do whatever they say in the videos you can easily so you make your games then publish them to the whole world and um, finally be famous it's a 3d game and um if you publish it to the whole world and if they play it you'll get some money 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 if, you're, if you have kids and they were and they're beginners and they want to do coding code.org is very good for them and then they could just quickly jump to scratch and if they like arduino just go to of course, pixel blocks, and if they want to, and if they like 3D games and would like to make one, s simply just go to C Code Kingdom. But Scratch, pixel blocks, and Code.org are fully free, but Code Kingdom is not free. That's the problem. Okay, guys, if you think I did something wrong, share a comment down below, and if you and um, we could do other platforms together. I don't know 
all the available platforms in this world. Maybe you know more than I do. Maybe Tinker is a good suggestion for a different video. But share your comments down below. I love your comments. I love you guys. Adios amigos. Bye bye.